Hey guys, Nerdfighter here, and here we have an unboxing of the Western Digital Red 3TB hard drive. Well, it's more of an unbagging because it only comes in an ESD bag, but whatever. So, this hard drive wasn't in stores when it was on sale, so I had to buy it online. So, if you get this shipped, it should come in a brown fragile box. If it doesn't, the mailman might throw it around. It also comes in some pink bubble wrap and some bags of air. Yay, everyone loves bags of air. Anyway, let's put this stuff away after I finish playing with it um, and get straight to the product. So this is the hard drive itself. It's a red series, but what's the difference between a red series? When Western Digital first started making hard drives, they were just called the Caviar series. But then, after a while, they started adding, introducing colors to the names to represent the performance. So black would be the almost highest performance drives, um, below Velociraptors, which are really fast black drives because they spin at 10,000 RPMs. The, the actual drive itself is smaller, but it needs a heat sink because it spins that fast, but that's not important. There's Scorpio Blue, which is a balance between performance and energy, and then there's Caviar Green, which is an energy efficient drive. There were also RE drives, which were enterprise drives. These were business and enterprise optimized drives, which made them very expensive. So with consumers with a NAS, they ended up buying a green or black drive because they were cheaper than an RE drive. But the problem with this is the um, what they do with air recovery. The Western Digital Red uses a SATA 3 6 gigabits per second interface which is more than enough for your NAS. Well, I think it should be faster than your hard drive. Anyway, um, Western Digital introduced the RED to give consumers enterprise level drives for their NASes. How they achieve this would be to use enter enterprise grade components but use a slower spindle speed to keep the cost down. So this drive runs at 5400 RPM as opposed to standard 7200 RPM drives. Um, you might be thinking this is slower than normal drives, but it actually isn't because it would technically be bottlenecked by your network speed or something else that wasn't the hard drive. So speed isn't affected. The difference between a red drive and a standard drive would be how they handle error recovery. The window standard would be to constantly try to recover the um, damaged part a certain amount of times before giving up. This wouldn't work if you had them in red, which most NASes do. So for the controller in the red, if it detects an error, it automatically drops it out of the array and tries to recover the section out of the parity drive. The red drive also features um, 3D stabilization. So if you have multiple drives in a RAID array very close together, spinning really fast, they tend to cause vibrations. And those vibrations can affect other drives around it. Uh, these red drives were built to tighter restrictions, so there would be less vibrations, and the, those vibrations would be less. Uh, they would affect the other drives in your array less. These drives have a one million hour mean time before failure and a longer warranty than other standard drives. Um, the reds provide you a three year warranty, and Western Digital validates each drive to ensure that it will work with consumer NASes. So it works with QNAPs and other companies to make sure the sys software on the drive is recognized by the software on the NAS, so like the QNAP Synology. This um, provides less compatibility issues, so sometimes you might have had a RAID card, you stuck a hard drive in, and it didn't recognize it at all. So yeah, this has been an unboxing and sort of review of the Western Digital Red Series hard drive.